Hello everyone and welcome to my next presentation on Chinese characters. This one will be about the Chinese character Chang. Chang. So the meaning of this character is basically it can be translated as uh, often, ordinary, typical, frequent, something like that. And it can be found in words like Zheng uh, Chang, which means uh, very typical, I would say. Um, Jing Chang, which means frequent, Chang Chang, which means often. So this character consists of two elements. The top one is this one. And its pronunci pronunciation is Shang. And it is clearly the phonetic element because you can see that the, the final uh, ANG cluster is the same as uh, in the pronunciation of the character as a whole. But the tones are different, of course. This is ang in the fourth tone, this is ang in the second tone, but it is, uh, I mean, um, clear enough that it is the phonetic element and points to the pronunciation very, very well. And the second element is this element over here, which is pronounced jin, jin. And its meaning is, this is the semantic element, it points to the meaning of the character as a whole. Jin is a, a piece of cloth, a towel, something like that. Um, and the explanation for this is that it is a very frequently used piece of a, well, I guess I can't call it a tool, but a, a, a thing that people use very, very often. So that's why it was chosen to be in this character as the semantic element. So let me show you how to write this character. So start with the top element, as always, you go from, from top to bottom, left to right. But in this case, you first start with the middle stroke, then the left, then the right, then this one. You finish off the long horizontal one with the hook. You continue to the next elements, and then you finish the bottom section. So let's do that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, one stroke, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11. Some things to look out for. Again, as I said, this is the first stroke, then the left one, then the right one, and not like this, 1, 2, 3. So this is not good. Uh, the second thing that I would look out for is that this is one stroke. You just do a little hook at the end. Usually when people write it in, in like fast writing, they, they, they bend it a lot more, so it looks something like like this. It's really hard to do on this tablet, but it is really like a bent bent thing. Um, of course, in books you don't see it like that. It's usually a absolutely flat horizontal line. And before I wrote, the first time I wrote this character, I made the mistake to that, that these strokes actually cross, but they should not cross. You often see people when they write them with, with pens, um, separating them very, very much, so they sometimes look like like they don't touch at all. Something like this with this this bending over there. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Oh, I'm sorry, one more thing. Uh, this stroke and this stroke, of course, and I mentioned this in videos before, um, they are not the same strokes. Uh, this stroke over here is a stroke which is called the Dian, and is, is just a dotted stroke, and is written like this. And this stroke, the, the one on the, on the right side, this one is called Pie, and its full form is starting absolutely vertically and then sort of diverts. And uh, this, what you can see over here, is a very, very short version. Uh, so basically, it's basic, maybe this section over here. Well, it's not this section because you can clearly see the, the, the thicker starting point over here. So it's, so it's definitely this section. But whenever the stroke is uh, short, as, in, as, in, as is the case over here, it's going to be much more tilted than it, than it is in its full long form. So it's going to look really something like this. But just remember that that this small, small stroke and this long PS stroke are the same strokes. Definitely different than, than this DN stroke over here. So I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I will see you in the next one.